Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're talking about a flood map mishap. And what we're talking about is Midland, Michigan. You, know, you had a lot of areas in Midland, Michigan that were recently flooded on May 19th and May 20th, 2020, because of dam failures, because of a lot of rainfall that came through on a cutoff weather system. So how is this a flood map mishap? Well, you know, many times when these dams meet accreditation, the areas behind them are considered low risk flood zones. And what this means is that people are not required to carry flood insurance. So many times they feel that there's no risk there. So these flood maps kind of show them, hey, either I'm in low risk, I don't have to have it, or it's not required, even though I live behind a dam. So what happens is when these dams fail, you know, because they get a foot of water within 24 hours and they just can't handle the amount of water through the spillways, that water has to be released. So then what happens to the people downstream who don't have flood insurance because they're in that flood zone X or that minimum risk flood zone? Well, unfortunately, unless there's a presidential disaster declaration filed that might give some disaster assistance, there's not gonna be any coverage there because there was no policy in place. So this is the importance of having flood insurance even in the low risk flood zones, especially if you live around dams or spillways where some kind of threat is still there. If you live in a lake area like in Midland, Michigan, Saginaw area. So if you've got questions about low risk flood zones, you know, how much is flood insurance in low risk flood zones? Can you get flood insurance anytime in these low risk flood zones? Click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Thank you.